Good evening, everybody. We got here a 1v1 on Arabia between two top level players, the Max and Viper. So let's get right into it. I'm going to speed up just a little bit as we go through the Dark Age. So in the green, in the south of the map, is the Viper playing as the Indians, and his enemy to the north is the Max playing as the Spanish. So right off the bat, we do think camels and really a direct counter to the Spanish with the Indian play but of course that's going to be dependent on how it all plays out so let's take a look at the maps very open on this side for the Viper he will likely just wall to the tree lines into the town center as that will just funnel the troops to the town center fire will avoid a lot of the panic there Monday? and the Max already Presto. starting to wall ah. off the front of his base in towards the berries as well see both of these maps not too bad. Uh, we do have back golds for the max, so that gives him a bit of an advantage, but there is a back gold that's going to be pretty safe for the Viper. It is a little bit of ways away, but uh, shouldn't be too horrible, all things considered. We do see some militia coming out, though, for the Indian player, and I will slow it down a little bit as there is a little bit of battling between the two scouts and... Uh, the Max does have the lead to start off, but of course that's going to be super dependent on uh, different hill bonuses and who reaches the Feudal Age first. And of course, the Feudal Age first, it's the Viper. And so as you can see, the Viper did go up with less population, but he is up first. That did allow him to keep his scout alive, but that scout is very weak. Only a couple hits from a villager will be able to take it out. And the militia coming forward, will they be walled out? Well, the Max is a very fast player, so that is going to be no problem for him to quick wall that out. Meanwhile, the Viper just looking around. Looking around, getting the man at arms upgrade that will give him a bit of an advantage and will be able to do a lot more damage. But he is housed right now, so that's never a good situation. Both of these players are even for villagers, of course. They did both go up to the next stage just at different levels, and both of them do have loom in at this point in time. So the Viper so far hasn't got too much. From his drush and now man at arms rush. A uh, little bit of delays with repairs, but not quite as much as would make it worthwhile for him. Uh, now that there is an archer out, these man at arms will be pushed back and they will be forced to run. One archer at this level uh, with the micro is pretty much enough to shut down any man-at-arms attack. Archer and Skirm coming out right off the bat. We do have archers coming in response. Now, of course, this is a little bit of an advantage for the Indian player, I would say, as the Spanish never want to be going for archers. Already getting fletching, you know, they, they are going for Skirm, so that's a little bit better, but... You never want to see archers when you're playing as a Spanish, because Spanish have terrible archers in this game. Indians, not too bad when it comes to archers. Of course, both of these players are going to want to do some form of cavalry <clears throat> further down the line. But the Indians are a little bit more mobile with that situation than the Spanish are. Now, there is... Obviously, a move towards moving up to the next age, but uh, both of these players very far away from that, not going to be doing that anytime soon. And just a couple, ar one archer, a couple skirms, not going to be enough to do too much damage, but might cause enough distraction to uh, be a little bit serious. So, both players add a little bit of a. Uh, impasse but ooh, quite a bit of wasted time here as the viper actually might lose a villager to the archers and skirms he doesn't quite lose that villager so that's good um but extra skirmishers out for the spanish player of course skirmishers being much stronger against archers 
and then archers against skirmishers. And uh, now, two skirmishers against five archers. The advantage does go to the archers, but these are some pretty weak ones that will have to hide inside the town center. Great micro back and forth, but now we have two skirmishers against two skirmishers, so that is a little bit more even, a little bit of a free kill there from the max. And at the same time, Viper gets into the wood line, and he is right up against the wood line. Will he get a kill, actually, out of this? It is possible, and it is going to happen. He just focuses down this one villager. He gets two kills and almost a third. So that gives him a big jump. As the skirmishers are, again, not going to do too much damage to villagers at this point in the game. Just because the... the Skirmishers are really only strong against the archers at this point. Uh, of course, Spearmen as well. We do see a stable coming in for the Viper and a stable also going up for the Max. So both of these players are going to want to switch out of Skirmishers into Cavalry units. As we do already see the plus one defense coming in for the max See? and uh, these skirmishers will be cleaned up but they, they did quite a good job wasted a lot and took out a lot of military from the enemy and already we see scouts coming out for both of the players as they will start to look towards the next age at this point in time but uh, still a very long ways away a tower preemptively coming up for the max, that is a very defensive move. I'm not sure how I feel about that. As a matter of fact, uh, he does have to collect stone now. But I suppose, as the Spanish, you do want to get conks because once conquistadors come out in the early castle age, they are very, very strong. Now the Viper is just going for an eco upgrade at this point in time. He doesn't have too much to negate. The inevitable scout attack that is going to be coming in against him. Uh, he does have one scout just looking around. He will Namaste. spot this tower and you know what he actually might be able to pick off one of these villagers extremely low HP but he's not going to risk running underneath the tower for that pickoff. Or will he? He does. Gets the pickoff. Will he get both? Gets both kills and runs away. That is a massive play at this point in time. That play gives him a big villager lead. Mind you, he does have Wheelbarrow in, so his villagers will be working faster. He is rushing up a tower, but it's going to be not too pretty for him as he almost loses his villager, and now the villager goes down. The tower will definitely go up and provide some much-needed defense on this very weak wood line. As we see a scout battle over here, but the scout of the max is going to fight underneath the town center and that's going to cause some damage. So these skirmishers having to run away right now. The tower fire is just too much for them at this point in time. And some archers to the north for the viper. These skirmishers doing a ton of damage and just wasting time. And look at this. We've got 10 villagers gathered around one tree. That tree's going to run out shortly. But... One scout, a couple skirmishers should be able to clean this up, especially with the tower fire behind. At the same time, we do see two more scouts coming forward for the max. And he is not anywhere near the castle age, but Viper's already on the way up. The max is starting to save up some stone, so he, mind you, he did build that tower right off the bat. And so we're at that point in the game where the Viper needs to hold off for when he can get his advantage in the next age. Militarily speaking, the Max has a massive advantage right now. Huge, huge favorite uh, if he can do the damage. And that's going to be the biggest thing. The Max needs to get damage done as soon as possible because once the Castle Age hits and we see Monday? double camels coming out, that'll be able to clear up everything that is on the map for the max as he clicks up to the next age looking at their villager counts obviously the max has a slightly higher villager count due to the fact that he is Presto. that he is Monday. going up a little bit later but 
will he be able to win this? That is the key. There's going to be a window in which the Viper will be able to completely overrun the enemy with camels. And right now we see two camels already queued up. This is where it has to happen for the Viper, and this is where it has to happen for the Max. Both of them on a tight timeline to get the advantage that they need right off the bat. And the Camels are out. This army is good as gone. Two more Camels already queued up. And we see Spearman coming in response, as well as Husbandry coming up for the Max. And the Max, still not enough for a castle. Doesn't quite have enough to buy his way unless he sells some wood. And the army numbers now in favor of the Viper, as well as just the layout of the armies themselves. Definitely want to have camels over scouts. And uh, these two scouts will fall to these two here. And the camels are coming in. And camels can actually take out Spearman pretty easily. As we see the Spanish player building a town center. Wants to improve his economy as much as possible. Getting his second TC up right off the bat. But now it's switched where we see the eco approach for the max. Will it be enough? Obviously the max very good eco. Well known for his eco. And we do see a monastery coming up. Quick walls just barely save that town center for the max. He will be on three town centers, mind you. And in the meantime, only the one for the Viper. So Viper has to do the damage. He has to get his advantages where he can. And once he gets to a certain number of camels, he actually might be able to start taking out town centers. Uh, that is the strength of camels. They do have such high attacks very good uh, once you get to a certain number obviously camels not quite as strong as knights for raiding due to their lower pierce armor but uh, will be able to do quite a bit of damage output once they get to that mass and with a couple of skirms behind you know these skirmishers not quite worth that much at this point in time but uh, still able to get a few hits you know, that's five extra shots right and the monk will scare away the camels for now. Pikeman out for the Spanish player. But at this point in time, oof, not a good move to be engaging against this many pikemen. You want to be using your scouts as much as possible. He doesn't quite get the kill for the monk, but he wastes away his skirms. The skirmishers are not worth too much at this point anyways to get that monk kill because he wants to make sure he keeps his camel numbers up. He doesn't give away a free camel in response. When we're looking at economies, though, 58 to 50 in favor of the max. And of course the Max does have his army spread out a little bit more. And the Viper going to do a quick switch into Cavalry Archers. These Cavalry Archers will be strong against the Pikemen. Will be able to get the hit and run tactics that is necessary at this point in time. And I don't think the Max is quite expecting that move from the Viper. As the Viper is going for his second town center now. I believe a third is coming up afterwards, so they will be a little bit more even, but the advantage is already massively in favor of the Max, as he does have a 16 villager lead, and militarily he's not too far behind. He's got a nice little base here, very tight with his three town centers, lots of protection for his villagers. Now the engagement does happen, the camel does get converted, the camel will fall fairly quickly, um, but for now it basically just bought some time to distract the enemy, as this cavalry archer does run in, interesting choice there, uh, 
will be pushed back a little bit. But cavalry archers now starting to mass up as we see double the army for the viper, but he just can't engage with the army that he has right now. He's got a 22 villager deficit. And we see a big group of villagers coming forward for the max. Castle here, very defensive. Uh, choosing, rather than putting it out on one of these hills, uh, he decides to put it at home. Uh, protecting his wood line, protecting his farms, making sure that he is safe from early attacks. But uh, his fourth town center is rangeable by these cavalry archers. Of course, the TCs do outrange the cavalry archers, and I don't like this move of the Viper to be running underneath that town center with his camels, so he does have just his three town centers right now. Will need to get a fourth up if he plans to catch up economically, because there is a 20 three villager deficit for the viper right now he does have the military advantage but uh that military advantage is going to fall to the side once the economy gets to a certain level the camels choosing to go underneath the town center again some free shots there from the max but also lots of wasted economy so you know that is also important at this point in the game waste the enemy's economy as much as possible and oh my goodness look at that castle placement talk about aggressive we have 10 villagers coming forward and i honestly don't think that there's anything the max can do to fight against that these cavalry archers are at a pretty good mass and especially with this number of camels right in front they will be able to engage pretty easily as we do see the castle right now will definitely go up and the max is thinking he needs to do a counter the max is on his way up to the imperial age he will have the advantage of technology in the imperial age but he needs to do some damage now because there is massive damage happening in only a matter of seconds in his economy he does have a 25 villager lead still but that lead is going to fall with this castle fire castle can range the town center and uh, cavalry archers even not being scared to run underneath town centers not being scared to run against the pikemen because they can get that distance between them and the pikemen and they can take them out from afar look at the way the castle fire is taking out these pikemen at this point in time there's a possibility that this whole town center and all of the villagers inside of it that is 18 villagers that is his entire lead fall to this army there's nowhere for them to run if they decide wow. to run this way they can get caught out fairly easily as the viper still on his three town centers not wanting to put a new one up anytime soon and the cavalry archers doing damage a lot of damage lots of idle time lots of waste this is what the viper needs taking out villagers on this wood line Ooh, big mistake lots of villagers going down there more cavalry archers oh camels are in the back of the base the max does have the eco advantage when it comes to villager numbers but that's it the gg is called doesn't even make it up to the imperial age so castles were set up very defensively but oh. still not quite enough this castle placement just beautiful the viper knew his advantage he knew that he could place the capsule wherever he so chose and this place just See? crippled Monday? the max